गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन माई नेम इज रेशमा राजना दोहाल असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर एट ए आई डी एस डिपार्टमेंट टूडेज टॉपिक इज अवर इंट्रोडक्शन टू सी प्रोग्रामिंग सो इन दिस दिज आर द कंटेंट्स फर्स्ट वन इंट्रोडक्शन टू सी प्रोग्रामिंग प्रोसेजरल प्रोग्रामिंग पोर्टेबल एंड लो लेवल प्रोग्रामिंग स्ट्रक्चर्ड लैंग्वेज डेटा टाइप्स विच आर यूज इन सी प्रोग्रामिंग एंड पॉइंटर्स सो फर्स्ट वन टॉपिक इज इंट्रोडक्शन टू सी प्रोग्रामिंग सो इंट्रोडक्शन प्रोसिजरल प्रोग्रामिंग स्ट्रक्चर्ड ऑफ सी प्रोसेस दिज आर द वेरी मच की पॉइंट इम्पॉर्टंट इन सी प्रोग्रामिंग सो वेरिएबल्स की वर्ड्स आइडेंटिफायर कॉन्स्टेंट्स वी आर रिलायबली यूज इन दिस वेरियंटली देन ऑपरेटर्स एंड देयर एक्सप्रेशन टर्नरी ऑपरेटर्स एंड देयर डेटा टाइप्स दिस इज द बेसिक स्ट्रक्चर्स ऑफ सी प्रोग्रामिंग सेकेंड पॉइंट इज कंट्रोल स्ट्रक्चर सो इन कंट्रोल स्ट्रक्चर वी कैन से दैट द इफ इल्स इफ नेस्टेड इफ इल्स कैस्केडेड इफ इल्स एंड स्विच स्टेटमेंट्स आर गेट यूज नेक्स्ट टॉपिक इज लूप कंट्रोल स्ट्रक्चर सो इन लूप कंट्रोल स्ट्रक्चर वी हैव टू यूज फॉर वाइल डू वाइल ब्रेक एंड कंटिन्यू स्टेटमेंट्स एंड लास्ट वन इज अ गो टू स्टेटमेंट्स सो दिज आर द लेबल्स पॉइंट्स विच वी हैव टू यूज इन सी प्रोग्रामिंग so c is a general purpose procedural programming language that was developed in the early 1970s at bell labs by dennis richards so it has since become one of the most widely used and influential programming languages forming the basis for many other languages and systems so c is known for its efficiency flexibility and close to hardware capabilities making it suitable for a wide range of applications so from system programming to application development the c programming it will be get used so c follows a procedural programming paradigms so which means programmers are structured as a sequence of procedures or functions it involves breaking down the program into smaller reusable functions that perform some specific task or the special kind of task so this is known as an procedural programming so next point is portable and low level so c is often referred to as an portable assembly language because it allows the programmers to write code that can easily compiled and run on different platforms without significant modifications so additionally c provides low level access to memory and hardware so making it suitable for a task that require fine grain control next point is structured language so c supports structured programming through features like for while do while loops and next one is a conditional statements in that if fields and function calls are gets used so this encourages modular and organized code next point is data types so c provides a variety of data types including integers floating point numbers characters and pointers so data types determine the kind of values a variable can hold and the operations that can be performed on those values uh our next point is pointers so pointers are powerful features in a c that allows you to ma manipulate memory address directly they are often used for task like a dynamic memory allocation efficient data manipulations and building complex structure so in this video we have seen that first one the introduction the basic part of c programming how it will be get used and what kind of statements we are here using so the procedural programming the basic structure of the c the pre uh, pre processors variables what kind of keywords and identifiers constants are get used here and what type of control structures are used so next point we are introduce you yeah, introducing the procedural programming what is it and uh, it involves the breaking down the programming into smaller so smaller scores suppose we if we having a, a 
big program then we have to basically divide that program into smaller part we can say that the subtask so we have to perform that subtask individually so it is a nothing but procedural programming so it is a portable and low level then a structured language the structured language it involves what kind of loops conditional statements and the functions call then the data types so here are many more data types are present such as integer double float string characters and the pointers which we have to use for the memory address of that particular variables okay thank you so much